Hey up and welcome to Yorkshire Man Models. Today we're doing the Brewster Buffalo Pacific Theatre and I'm going to do it in the New Zealand colours. It's a Tamiya kit and it's 148 scale. So let's crack on with this build.
Well, that's another one done. And uh, I've really enjoyed building this one. It's a nice kit, actually, at end of it. I really enjoyed the masking that you got for uh, doing these canopy covers. You've got the one at the bottom and the one at the top. I think the top ones turned out better than the bottom one because the bottom ones are such little tiny ones they're even harder to control. The top ones come out really nice. As you can see. And the canopy is that big you can see right into it. So it's, it's, it's alright, it's nice that. It's got nice detail in my view for, for the age of the kit and for the the size of it and all that but nice little bit of detail you see through there into the where the engine and all of that is as you can see there misses a bit inside there there was never anything in there to put in obviously they probably expect you to leave it closed up to be but no I've done it like that because I like to leave them with wheels down you don't get any of this wire across. It's meant to be an aerial for, uh, I believe, for radio communications. But I put it on and I thought, oh, look, it's nice and tight. Like that. And then as soon as I'd let go, it's gone a little bit slack. But I need to get a different band for that for 148 scale. I've got some proper stuff. This is more like a fishing wire type one and it's not really good enough for it. But to do for this one. The kit, for the cost of it, well impressed. Don't think you can knock it. Easy build, fantastic simple instructions, a few nice decal options. It's the first time I've ever made one for the New Zealand Air Force, I believe that one was. So I am impressed. We've got a few parts spare, not many. You've got a spare seat there, a couple of figures if you want to use them bits there and on the other one there is a spare propeller and a few other bits the cover foot propeller there but no special just a few bits spare you've got a spare canopy there if you ever end up wanting to use one again if you've got another build quite a few decals that are definitely coming with 148 you've got your American ones some more different stuff some I forgot to put that on or not. That's another thing I did. When I was doing the decals, I didn't realise I meant to put that on first, which is the dragony one, and then you put the dragon over the top to get a little white outline. I didn't realise that, and once I'd done it, it's too late, it's done. But that's my mistake. Other than that, really enjoyed it. And it's like this is the one that I did. The RNZAF, yep, yeah, Royal Navy. Uh, uh, New Zealand, sorry, Royal New Zealand Air Force, Singapore, 1941. Did that one. You can see it's a nice little kit. Really enjoyed it. To go well on me stands with all the others. Just a shame. A shame about that. Might end up rectifying that at some point, but when I get some new stuff. The underside. The weathering, I've tried the new oil brushes and I really like them to be honest. You're not messing waiting for the oil to go off on the car before you can do it. So quite impressed with that. I'm gonna get some I have to get some different colours for the top because I don't think they've made as much of a difference on the top as they have done underneath. Right. All done, ready for the next one. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. I'll really be grateful for it. And I'll see you around for the next one.